Welcome to Crappy Classics, uh, and today we're going to be servicing and repairing this MTD push mower. Uh, the last mechanic who worked on this thing didn't treat it too well. Actually had the air filter stuck on with, uh, I believe they were sheetrock screws. So, yeah, first thing we're going to do is wash it. So, let's get into it. This wash doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be good enough because you're going to wash it again after it's fixed. This is just a pre-repair wash. Uh, it's a lot cleaner now, you can actually uh, see the side of the engine, not just a massive blob of oil. So that's good. I flipped this thing over and uh, cleaned the bottom of the deck, and something I noticed when I did that is uh, there's actually two cracks in the deck that are going to have to be fixed. So, get that fixed too. Probably do that off camera. Okay, so we got this thing inside. Now I got the parts for this thing. So for this mower, what we're gonna be putting on it is air filter base, air filter, air filter cover, gaskets for the carburetor, a fuel filter, and a new carburetor. So the first thing we're gonna do uh, in servicing this mower, oh, we're gonna put oil in it too. But the first thing we're gonna do in servicing this mower is take this cover off. There's actually three bolts that hold that cover on. Here and here. And uh, I already took those off uh, when I was washing this in an earlier part of the video. You could see me take the, or, uh, you could see that those were already off. So now, we're gonna get that intake off. Ooh, I grabbed the wrong size. Uh, that's nice. Okay, now we got the uh, intake off. This one's got some screw holes in it in the top and it's all frigged up, so uh, we're not going to use that. Instead, we're going to use this brand new one. We're also going to take the carburetor off, change carburetor too. So, let's pull this out. We should disconnect the fuel line first. I took the whole tank off, and uh, we're gonna set this aside. So now we're gonna take uh, we're gonna take the carburetor off. There we go, carburetor off. We're gonna set up the new carburetor with some new gaskets. We're gonna put this gasket right in here. And we're going to put this on. This is your choke here. Or your choke lever. Anyway, it just activates the choke. See, that's how it should work. And on this carburetor, which just leaked gas everywhere, it's, uh, it's not doing that. Now let's install the carburetor in this new intake. Get this linkage. Great. And this linkage, oop, come on buddy, this one right here, into the choke, hey let's make sure, oh yeah that's working right, probably, we'll, we'll find out soon enough. And this is going to go down like that, and push on, and there, that's the carburetor installed. We are going to reinstall the fuel tank. After I drain it, I'm going to drain this out real quick. Okay, now that the gas tank's empty, we're going to plug it back in. And uh, we're going to put this stuff on and back together real quick. So, let's do that. Put the intake back on. The new intake, I should say. There. 
install the air filter on it real quick. Air filters on, air filter cover. And there. Now, we are going to change the oil on this. For oil, we're just using some 1030. This is actually some pretty good oil too, so. what we got. Right on. Uh, we'll turn the camera back on once I get some gas in this thing and actually try to mow something with it. Had to take this thing apart to uh, weld up some cracks in the deck in the front of it and uh, a pinhole that was right there. Ground it smoothish. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video on this thing. If you did, uh, you should probably subscribe, but I don't really care if you do or don't. I'd appreciate it if you'd s subscribe. Anyway, see you in the next video.